Wanna know how to get the Elden Ring Cuckoo Knight complete armor set that you see here? Check that out. Doesn't that look amazing? You're gonna get the shield, the helm, the armor, the gauntlets, and also the greaves. Check that out. Doesn't that look amazing? If you wanna know where to get this, a like is appreciated as it helps us out with the algorithm. So, what you need to do is the following. Where is this? This is located. I'm gonna show you exactly where you need to go. Let's pull up the map here. So this one is located around the Bellum Church, all the way to the top here where you see my map. Um, so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can take a look what's around it. So it's around here. So if you're coming from the bottom, which is all the way here to the standard graveyard or you also the gate front, and you're gonna make your way all the way up here you're gonna face a lot of enemies trust me but once you get here around this section you're gonna meet up with a few knights and that's the great thing about it. one of the things that i found out here is that this thing keeps respawning over and over so you're able to get multiple sets so as you see here let me get on my little horsey and we're gonna find them around here i already defeated a couple of them and there it is see there there's one of them so if you're able to defeat one of those you're going to be able to get the full complete armor set and let me tell you this armor set is op it doesn't only look amazing but it also deals tremendous damage as well as it's able to take some hits so that's a good thing so i'm just giving you here a quick tour of how it is did you guys just see that another one just came in so now i gotta face two two knights so i don't think i can face two knights <laughs> so i'm gonna run away a little bit just to make sure the other one doesn't come so i can just show you guys so the best way to defeat this guy is just keep going around with your little horsey don't get don't get off your horse because if you get off your horse you're gonna be easy target for him as you see here he throws like spells a bunch of swords so if those hit you oh you're gonna be done in a second so you didn't see that i was able to skip that really quick so i'm gonna show you really quick what you get once you defeat them and let me see if i can get a little whack in here oh, oh i got off my horse better get on my horse anyway so let me show you what you actually get by defeating this knight okay so let's open up our inventory and let's take a look at the stats on this complete armor so let's start off with the shield itself this is the great shield the cuckoo great shield and as we see here attack power it has a physical damage of 110 plus magic zero and what it has is critical critical damage of 100 percent uh, this one is good for strength and for the guarded damage you're able to take a uh, physical damage of 100 magic 70 fire 56 lightning 52 holy 60 and guard boost at 62 now let's take a look at the next one which is going to be the helm so on the helm itself we have damage negation which is physical is a 4.8 versus strike a 4.0 versus slash a 5.2 versus pierce is a 4.8 magic 4.4 fire 4.2 lightning 3.1 and holy at 3.6 and for resistant uh, immunity is at 14 robustness at 24 focus at 10 vitality at 10 poise at 6. now if you guys want to know more exactly what these stats are we're going to be having a video i'm going to link it in the description so you guys can know more about this type of stats for the armor you need to understand what exactly you have so you're able to survive in elden ring a lot more and die less of course so so make sure you have your inbox open up so you can receive that notification by turning it on because we're going to be bringing you guys full coverage continuation of elden ring so let's move on to the next one next we're going to be taking a look at our armor so as you see here the stats are even higher for the um for resistance we have 32 for immunity Robustness 57, Focus 24, Vitality 24, and 19 for Poise. And as you see, it takes on a lot of damage and is able to also uh, deal a lot of damage. And next one, we're going to be taking a look at the Gauntlets. 
as you see here the different type of stats for the gauntlets um, they're not that bad um, but we could probably improve on those now if you're asking yourself Tron how come your level so high how come everything so high well guys you got to subscribe and turn on all notifications that's all I'm saying because my boy laser Bolt is providing you guys with a lot of guides on letting you know how you can level up that so high your vigor your mind endurance strength like surety, intelligence faith and arcane you need to follow and hit that subscribe button because he's going to show you how to do that very easy so make sure you have your inbox open i'm just saying you guys telling you guys to do that because it's going to help you a lot it is um okay I'm, I'm just not selected all right we have the cuckoo knight uh greaves which um Physical damage is a 7.0, 6.5 for the versus, versus slash is 8.4, versus spears is 7.7, .7, magic 7.1, and fire 6.8, lightning 5.0, and holy 5.8, and resistance that you see the different type of stats. In the last one is the partisan spear. As you see here, it looks very OP. Physical damage is 123 plus. And of course, it's going to give you a critical hit of 100, as well as uh, guarded damage uh, negation is going to be physical 48, magic 30, uh, fire 30%, lightning 30, holy 30, and guarded boost 36. This is good for um, strength, as you see. Uh, the armor overall it looks amazing. Let me just give you again, once again, a preview of this armor. Doesn't that look totally amazing i think this is one of the best looking armors that you probably could get right now in elden ring and it's probably one of the best armors you can get you know to take on uh on your exploration of elden ring so if you guys like how that sounds please like subscribe and turn on notifications and i'll see you guys on the next elden ring and i'll leave you guys with the and i'll leave you guys with the rest of the gameplay so you can see how this armor looks and feels so you, once you get it, you know what to do. Anyways, this is Tron, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.